Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLeo with using WindowsHomeServer.com and the BYOB podcast. In this video, I'll show you how to install, monitor, and operate the Oweco Wake on LAN release candidate for Windows Home Server 2011. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the Oweco Home Server Solutions webpage. You want to learn more about Wake on LAN. And on the right hand side, you want to click on the free download button. You can click on save, save it to your desktop. You can see I'm replacing the copy that I already have. And just after a moment, you have downloaded your WSSX file. All you need to do now is just double click on the add-in. Now at this point, the add-in cannot be verified because it is too new, but click on install. And now it'll go through validate and install the add-in. Now when you do this, you must have administrator rights to your Windows Home Server 2011, which means you must know the password. So you'll enter that in now. takes just a moment to verify the password. Read the software license agreement. Once you have, click on Accept. Now at this point, you can either install the Wake on LAN release candidate only on the server, or you can choose to push it out to the computers on the network, which means pushing it out to any computers that have the launch pad installed. So I'm going to click on all computers on the network, and we're going to click on install the add-in. So it'll just take a moment. And now we'll show that it's been successfully installed. I'll click on Close, and now we can go right to the dashboard and view the add-in. In fact, you can see down here in the corner, it shows that it's being actually installed onto this computer as we speak. I'll click on Dashboard while that's going on, and I'll log into the Windows Home Server 2011 dashboard. Now that we have the Oweco Wake on LAN add-in installed, you'll notice that it doesn't show up as an icon in your Windows Home Server 2011 dashboard. Uh, last year during their early testing, they removed the icon and they actually have it now in the computers and backups. Now, if you're always curious, you can always click on your add-ins and it'll show you which add-ins uh, are installed and properly working on your system. Uh, but if you want to look at the Oweco Wake on LAN, you just click on computers and backups and you'll notice now that there's a computers and backups tab and now there's a week awake on LAN. Now there are three different colors on a week awake on LAN. There is green which means the computer's up and running. You can see I have three computers up and running. Uh, you can see that there's red which means these computers uh, were at one time connected to the network and are available to wake up. And then you have yellow which shows that the computer is in the process of waking up or in the process of, of starting. You can also see in the launch pad behind me that I now have an add-ins area and that I actually have a week awake on LAN here. Uh, which is a nice touch. That way I can do wake-ups from the launch pad itself. If after the installation your launch pad does not have the add-ins tab in there, just quit out of the launch pad. Actually go down and right mouse click and quit as you can see here or exit and then restart the launch pad by going to the icon and it should be there. With the dashboard itself, it's pretty straightforward. You can right mouse click and click on manage devices. You can see here it has the MAC address. Now, a week awake on LAN works as all awake on LAN uh, type of operations do, where it will send out a magic packet which contains the MAC address to all the computers on the network. Now, any computer that is connected to the network that has power but is not on will receive the magic packet. And if your NIC or your network interface card has a uh, has the ability to receive magic packets and start up. Once it receives that MAC address, it will start up and power on the machine. Some laptops and some older uh, network cards do not support Wake on LAN, so you'll have to check with your manufacturing instructions to find out if it supports it. Uh, you can also go to right mouse click on your computer. You can go to uh, Manage. Uh, you can also check by going to Device Manager and then dropping down to your network adapters, and you can see here uh, how these work. 
Uh, you can right mouse click and you go to properties and then you can see everything that you need to get the information to find out how it works. For me, with my Realtek controllers on my v EVGA board, you can see here that I have actual checkboxes here that I can change or, or make adjustments to that show that it supports the magic packet. Why would you want to use magic packets and a week awake on land? Well, if I were at work and I decided I needed to log into one of my computers that was turned off, I could log into Windows Home Server 2011 dashboard. I could come to a week awake on land and I could right mouse click and wake up the device, for example, uh, this one. So now once the magic packet is sent, it'll go from red to orange and it'll tell the uh, machine, hey, we want you to wake up. Now once your system is woken up, you can go to Remote Launcher. You can double click on Explore. Go to your network, and again, this is all within Windows 7, and you'll see a list of computers that are up and running on your network. Once you've done that, for example, here's my HTPC5, you can right mouse click and go to Connect with Remote Desktop Connection. This allows you to actually re be remoting through Remote Desktop Connection through your Windows Home Server 2011 dashboard. So I can log in. So now I've logged in through the web, and again, this is this is theory. I've logged in through the web. I'm in my 2011 dashboard. I used the Wake on LAN to start the computer up. Then I went into Remote Launcher to get to the Windows Explorer, and now I'm doing a remote into another computer. Now this saves a lot of time if you needed to get to a computer that was off, or if you were having problems with another computer. For example, I can now access my Windows Home Server. Uh, EX45 from here, but you can see now that I'm actually on another computer, so it ends up being nice and works out well. So check back with using WindowsHomeServer.com for all of your needs for Windows Home Server 2011, and thank you to Andreas and Elvis at Awiko for releasing such a great add-in.